Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is yours truly the Morning Gardener and today we're going to talk a little bit about saving seeds and the reason why it's this time of year for it. It's just that time of year where we're going to try to give you a little bit of information uh, about growing seeds. Um, this here is a cucumber that, that grew this year. It's got a kind of weird color to it but nevertheless it looks like it looks like an orange or, or lemon or something. But it's it's a it's a seeds. So what we do, I'm not going to take you through the whole process, but what I'm going to tell you like this. You take this cucumber, you cut it in half. You take the inside and scoop it out with a spoon and you add it to a cup. I like to use a transparent cup. It's just something I like to do. And it's a fermentation process that will remove most of the pulp, if you will, that helps prohibit the seed from germinating. It will help remove that from the seed helping it germinate better next year. Plus seeds that you grow uh, in your garden and take the seeds from them, they tend to grow better the following year because they're familiar with the soil. This one here, as you can obviously see, is a tomato. I just simply cut it in half and squeezed out the uh, seeds. And as you can see the seeds here in the, in the container, full of pulp and everything, but it will go through a process and it will re uh, remove the pulp from the seed. And then I will dry the seed, put, well, but simply put it on a towel or, or, or a plate and let it dry fully. And then I'll package it up and date it and put the name down that this is a cherry uh, tomato. Um, not one of the best I've tasted, but um, I like it for it, it, its density. It's nice and firm. It's got a pretty good color to it. It's disease resistant to a certain point. And it's an heirloom. I always use, uh, always try to keep heirloom seeds. And so this is going to produce quite a few plants and then I'll get more seeds even next year. Uh, I guess I covered everything. Um, I use rainwater only. Uh, that's just something I do because I have an ample supply of it. So I only use uh, rainwater in my garden period. Through any type of weather, it's rainwater. I water my plants with it. I, I um, use it to help me save my seeds. And that's what I do. Rainwater. It's just na nature's natural way of, uh, of uh, giving your plants what they need. This is yours truly, The Morning Gardener. And thank you very much for allowing me to come into your space 